Hey everybody, welcome to part 9 of Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal. So, today we'll be taking this dropship to go and do the challenges. So we have Battle Missions, Island Strike Part 1. The ranger base on Kavu Island is feroci under ferocious assault by the Tyranoids. Repulse the enemy attack and then lead a raid to capture a hovership launch pad at the center of the island. Assault on Kavu Island. <laughs> Scrunch is just like, yo man. I hope we don't have to halo jump again. Having a halo jump on the same planet twice would suck. It's a very boring concept. Room. Then depending on how fast we get these done, then we can do the core fit comic in the same episode. Oh god, we got a halo jump. Ooh, blue laser beam. I don't get why it's always so slow through the smoke. Uh -huh, I'm not gonna take any damage. You guys are gonna take all the damage. Yoo -hoo. Ow! Never mind, it took damage. I guess. Ow! It took damage again. I guess we can't be a showboater like Quark. Who came in and took all the glory. Damn. Quark. Hey, tear noise, here I come. Ah, no fair, I couldn't switch weapons. Uh, what do I want to use? Uh, lava gun, I guess? Burn and ate them all! Oh, these guys. Hey, they look different now. They're a different color. Okay, over here we go. There's a bridge we gotta open up. Once we open this up, we can get across. We know how to do that, I swear. Why is it telling us that? We did that back in the refractor, refractor, refractor part. Ah, die! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh no, the, the turrets. There we go, V2! I didn't get any more ammo, I think it just got damage. God damn it. You're gonna have to snipe those uh, turrets. You're gonna get very annoying. I know that's crawling with noids. Okay, now let's switch into our flux rifle. Check them out. Whew. There we go, that was beautiful. I can't believe I missed. Okay, uh, Nitro Launcher. You're only V3 still. Should level you up. Uh-oh, more of those. Ow! Die, enemy! Wait, why are those ones attacking me? Eh. Ah. No, he died! Man, that's what I get for using this weapon. It just sucks that much. Like, it does not upgrade worth a damn. At least we have 41 health now, instead of 40. So we do have a little more. That's not really going to benefit us very well. Okay, let's go. Boom! There we go. Ah, frick a duck. Ooh, that actually doesn't insta-kill them. Can you guys stop killing? There we go. V3 spitting Hydra. Dude, you made me waste it. God damn you. Alright, well, we're gonna snipe these. Perfect. Blow them up!
Eat that. I thought it was going to miss for a second, but it didn't. So I'm coming up here looking for some goodies. There's some uh, TNT crates and stuff. It's not worth very much. You just hear him go... Rrr. Okay, with this... We destroy the uh, turret. Apparently not destroy the turrets. There we go. Man, these guys have long range. Ow, I fell onto his attack. Hey, how do you fall onto someone's attack? Wait, why didn't you... There we go. Perfect. Is that it? Nope, apparently you're still alive. Uh, shock cluster. It takes four hits to kill somebody. Any more enemies? Hey there, guys. How are you guys doing? Perfect. Do I just get up to it? No. Why do you keep spawning two enemies at a time? Yo, get your ass back here, little man. Oh, so I had to make it to the end of the bridge. That makes sense. Dogfight over Kavu Island. The Tyranoids have launched a massive air assault against the island. Use the captured hover ship to drive back the enemy air fleet. I have this. This isn't that difficult. Not the worst challenge in the world. I actually don't mind this one. I don't need to descend or ascend. I am blasting the dropships. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, there's a dropship. Ow. Okay, let's destroy him. Any more? There's one. And now we got this one to deal with. You just say that every time we do one of these missions, robot. Can't go too close to their base because they will shoot us with the turrets. There we go. Yes, sir. We can handle these last few dropships. What are you doing over here? Just like chilling in the back of the map. Yes, you can. There's just a few little saucers. Plus, you guys are also robots. I don't see what the issue is. You guys are expendable. Hey, you. Guess what? Boom. And that was it. 12,000 volts for that easy mission. Operation Thunderbolt. A Tyranoid base on Kavu Island is protected by an impenetrable force field. While the Rangers work out a way to deactivate the field, take a hover ship and wipe out the Tyranoid forces in the surrounding area. Oh yeah, now we have to deal with the uh, turrets and stuff. That's going to be annoying. Because apparently all these enemies respawned. Plus extras. Oh, hey. Dropships. Alright, there's lots of dropships, apparently. I believe you can go sit on the pad for this and you can heal up the, the hover ship, I think. I think it still works like that in this game. Alright, just take it out. There we go. Ooh, maximum nanotech increase. That's what, 42 or 43 now? Which is pretty good. Destruction! Goddamn missiles. Wait, do those things constantly, they constantly home in. 
But those are actually the missiles that you see when you do the whole uh, free fall um, halo jump type thing. There we go. Destroy that. Or, you know, not destroy it because apparently I couldn't. Ah, uh, yeah, take down everything. Yeah, it sounds like a smart idea. Stick your finger in a socket. Think of a jiggies. I think he's dying. Did we do it? Sixteen thousand bolts for that. The final battle. The Rangers have succeeded in deactivating the force field surrounding the enemy base. The time has come to lead a Ranger force into the enemy base and destroy the Tyrannoids completely. You mean because he killed himself to do that, really, guys? Guys, let him electrocute himself. The balls. Okay, damn it, a damn dropship. Man, that thing, that thing takes a lot of hits to kill. It seriously does. Okay, we made it through. Ah, uh, UFO. It's like the Kirby UFO all over again. God damn it, dropship. Thanks for the nanotech increase there. That was just what I needed. You know what? And snipe you. Snipe you. Oh, and also you. And you. I said you. Don't know why I didn't shoot. Boom! I'm coming where? Oh, you mean that? I believe we eventually get an ability where we can actually scope out the weak spot of the enemy with the sniper rifle. But that might be in with the like alpha disruptor or something. Not really sure. <laughs> you know, get all the games mixed up because they're all kind of similar in a way. Ah, uh, yeah, you think? There's a shitload of them here. Ugh. Well, we almost leveled it up. Really, it gave me shock blaster ammo instead? Yeah, we'll just give you the ammo that you already have a lot of. Alright. I'll destroy these guys. I'll just happily jump over your shots. And then take damage when I'm actually facing you. Oh god. There it is. The Sentry! It doesn't have a health bar, oh no! There we go, it's dead! Wait, do I have any health? No, I don't have any flux rifle. Ah. Nope! This weapon... Destroy the little guys. Now destroy the sentry. There we go, it's destroyed. And all the little guys with it. Yes! We took over Tyrannosis. Now we get to return to our ship. And they get to go do that Quark Vid comic. And probably my least favorite part of the game is doing the Quark Vid comics. Roosh. There we go. It's a long flight back to our ship. Are we there yet? It's blackness. We're only just bobbed up and down. How many bolts do you get here? Honestly, not that many. Anyways, with that, let's hop into our ship.
and go back to the Starship Phoenix. Return to the Phoenix. Is this the part where we get the swing shot? That might also be the... This might also be the time to get the swing shot, which would be nice. We're eventually going to have a backtracking episode where we go and collect all the missing goods. Okay, and with this, let's see what we get to do here. And the loading times are weird. Cutscene. It's the biggest tyrannoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a star cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So. This is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic! I could obliterate a lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. That is ridiculous. Come in. Yellow. Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six pass alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Hatching it through now. What's suspicious? So take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work. But how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Super Villain Weekly. Oh, that was corny. Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome. Thanks, Al. Okay. Wait, there's the core fit comic. Let's go finish it. No, get off there. We have to do issue number two, Ariba Amoeba. <laughs> God, that loading screen with Captain Cork's big smiley mug is ugly as shit. It's absolutely just, he's so full of himself, it's ridiculous. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. <laughs> right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head on assault without hesitation. I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid whore. Yeah, right, dude. Quark, you're such a wuss. Yeah, we're a blob. Hey, we get to make all the money. Oh, those things just keep spawning. 
Oh, hey, it's those guys from the first Ratchet and Clank, the uh, sewer worker dudes. That wasn't very fancy, it's the same as Ratchet's dude. Dude, why did I get stuck on you? Oh yeah, we got the flamethrower. Which is a new weapon exclusive to here. Oh god, they got a lot of goop. Hey look, a 10. We're almost over well, we're a quarter of the way done now. Raining pretty much poo. It's pretty much what these enemies are. They're just literally poo. Now for this, you just hang on to this. I believe there's, what, a 10 down there? Never mind. I thought there was something down there. Whew. That's what I get. Sorry, AVG decided to pop up on my computer. It doesn't pop up very often, but when it does, it's kind of annoying. Now we just go up here like this. Just make sure you don't miss the platform, because I believe you will die. It's not spikes in this one, it's a cliff. Oh, apparently I didn't take damage from that. Fine with that, but it's weird. It's kind of sucks like that you can't actually get bolts throughout the level, you have to wait till you collect everything. Boom! Bounce, bounce. Yeah, they'll die in the electricity fairly easily. Make sure to look for things everywhere. Oh, there's our uh, level's health upgrade. Remember, there's one in every level, kids. You know, like... Or cadets, like Quark always calls everyone. Yet... I don't know why people keep hiring this guy to freaking save the galaxy. It's always Ratchet. Just get Ratchet to do everything. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to know that was going to be right there? Stop hitting me, please. Oh, another breakable wall. Come on, let me go, let me go through. Down. Quark. Go down. Yeah, 22 more to go. Hopefully we didn't miss any. I hate backtracking in these things. And look, our time's straight out so we didn't beat the, the record time to get the skill point. We just spawned over an edge and died. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. You guys are a threat. Woo! Oh, God damn it. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen, man? Oh wait, yeah, this one is weird. This one doesn't actually have a boss or anything in it. And there we go, there's the titanium bolt. Sweet! Now, do we get to see our total now, or is it the cutscene? Nope, it's our total. Let's see how many bolts we get. Hopefully it's like 10,000. That'd be a nice amount. Yeah, exactly 10,000. Maybe we can pick up that new armor. I hope we can. Anyways, I believe we have another cutscene. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. <laughs> he held his breath. Okay. Um, with that, I guess in the next... So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You slackers are always looking for the easy way out. Then you can pass the course, you can have the device. Okay, I guess in the next episode, we're going to be doing the swing shot challenge. Maybe we can get the skill point for it.